I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on measurements. We are taking up cylinders and we will try to calculate curved surface area for different situations. Here is your ultimate question, question number 5. Inner and outer radii of a metallic pipe are 4 cm and 4.5 cm respectively. If the length of the pipe is 49 cm, find the total surface area. You can pause the video, answer this question. Now before this, we have four questions to practice. Right? So these are the four practice questions to give you what the formula for curved surface area is and how to work with this formula. Right? So you have to round all your answers to the nearest tenth. Question number one is, find the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of base 5 cm radius and height 4 centimeters. Question number 2. Find the curved surface area of right circular cylinder of base 4 centimeter diameter and height 5 centimeters. Question number 3. The curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of height 5 centimeters is 94.2 centimeters square. Find the radius of the base of the cylinder. And question number four here is, the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of diameter 3 meters is 12 pi meter square. Find the height of this cylinder. So basically, we are given formula, uh, different questions to work with the formula of curved surface area for right circular cylinder. Right? So basically, it is working with just one formula. So surface area for a circular cylinder is 2 pi r h, right? That's the, where r is the radius, right? So, so if I sketch a cylinder here, for example, with the radius of uh, r and height h, then that is surface area, perfect. <coughs> so you have to just use calculator, find these answers. And the other two questions are rearranging the formula, right? So you could write radius as surface area divided by 2 pi h. And you can also write height as surface area divided by 2 pi r. So that is how you're going to solve all these questions. Simple as that. So i like you to pause the video, answer, and here are my solutions. So the very first one is that we have a curved surface area of a right circular cylinder. So we are only talking about the curved surface area, right? So that is to say the portion which is which is this portion, right? We are not talking about the ends. So think as if it is open from both the ends, right? So it says curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of base 5 centimeter radius. So so the radius here is 5 centimeters and height is 4 centimeters. So this is 4 centimeters height. Right. So 2 pi r is this circumference. So, so surface area is 2 pi r, which is this circular length when you cut open times the height, times the height. And in our case, we are given the radius as 5 centimeters and height as 4. Correct? So these are all in centimeters square now, right? So 5 times 4, 20 times 2, 40 pi centimeters square is your answer. Now, since oh, we were talking about rounding to one decimal place, you can use pi as 3.14. So write 3.14 times 40. And we get in decimals. 125.6 centimeter square. So I'm using pi as 3.14. You could also use pi as 22 over 7, right? Sometimes that value, 22 over 7, is better to use. You may get exact answers. Clear? Here is the second question. Find the curved surface area of a right circular cone with base of 4 cm diameter. So this time we are given diameter of 4 cm. That means radius is 4 over 2, 
which is 2 centimeters and we are given height which is 5 centimeters and we know what is surface area surface area is 2 pi r we are only finding curved surface area remember this term we are not so in our cylinder in these examples we are only finding the curved surface area that means that means only this part not those ends right that that should be very clear that is why we are using 2 pi r times height right so which we get 2 pi and radius is 2 now and height is 5 correct so that gives you the solution as 10 and 20 pi right so this time uh, okay let's do it so 3.14 just to 3.14 times 20 to get your answer in decimals so which is equal to 62.8 centimeter square correct now if they are saying exact value you can leave it at pi also right or write pi as 22 over 7 and then calculate okay next question here is question number three the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of height 5, so we are given height 5 centimeters, is 94.2 centimeters square. So what is 94.2 centimeters square? It is the surface area which is given to us, the curved surface area, right? It is the curved surface area which is given to us. Find the radius of the base. So R is something which we need to find perfect so that is the question so in our formula we know the surface area is 2 pi r times h and how do i get r i have to rearrange so surface area divided by 2 pi h is r correct so that is how we are going to get the value of r so let's calculate r as surface area divided by so sa is surface area for me you could write a also so 2 pi h so it is uh, 94.2 and 2 times 3.14 times height of 5 correct so that is our answer let us see we get 94.2 divided by so this is like 94.2 this is 10 so 31.4 correct so divided by 31.4 gives us 3 so we get the value of 3 and the units are centimeters correct so that is how you're going to calculate it simple as that so you're getting used to it correct getting ready for the final question question number four the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of diameter 3 is 12 pi meter square so the surface area this time is given to us as 12 pi pi meter square diameter is 3 meters so the radius will be 3 by 2 meters right and we know surface area is equal to 2 pi r h what do we need to find find height and so height should be equal to surface area divided by 2 pi r correct so that is the formula to be used simple as that so just plug it in so height equals to surface area is 12 pi divided by 2 pi and r is 3 over 2 right so you can write uh, 3 and 2 on the top does it make sense 3 over 2 right you could do like this correct so so pi and pi cancel 2 and 2 cancel and that goes 4 times you see 4 so we get height as equal to 4.0 since we have to write in one decimal place meters does it make sense to you so that is how we are going to do it now here comes the last question which is question number five inner and the outer radii of metallic pipe are four centimeter and 4.5 centimeter respectively if the length of the pipe is 49 centimeter find the total surface area so basically what we are given here is a metallic pipe so so it's kind of like this right so it has outer and inner so we have thickness to it that means right so it, think like this 
So we need to find surface area of inside and outside. So that is the equation for you, right? So that is inside. So it's the inner and outer radii of metallic pipe are 4 cm and 4.5. So one of them is 4, the inner one is 4 cm. And the outer one, which you can see this one, is 4.5 cm. Okay. So find the length, okay, if the length is, and the length here L is 49 centimeters. Okay. So let's say we close it here. Okay. Fine. If the length is this, we find the total surface area. So we have outer and inner, right? So outer surface area will be 2 pi r times height or length 2 pi r l you can use right so it is 2 pi radius is out of 4.5 and length is 49 correct for inner surface area will be 2 pi it is 4.0 and length is 49 so we have to get the total of this that is to say we have to add them up right so so when you add them up, what do you get? We get total surface area equals 2. So you can see 2 pi and 49 is common, right? So we get 2 pi times 49, that is common. Within bracket, we get 4.5 plus 4.0 for easy calculations, right? So twice this is 98, so we get 98 pi and this is 8.5, correct? So let's do it. So you could actually approximate, take this as 100, this as 3, and then do it, right? 300 times. So that if calculator is not allowed, you could do that. Uh, so approximation could work. Times 3.14 times 8.5 equals to, in decimals, 2615.6. Correct? So that is how you will do centimeters square. So, if you want to really estimate it, you can take this as 300, right? So, you could take 98 as 100 and pi as 3 and multiply with 8.5, correct? So, 300 times this will give you correct result, almost the same. So, you can check. So, this is for estimate. Sometimes, calculator is not allowed, right? So, then you could use these values to find the answer. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.